Hi folks, welcome to Brian D's Tech Channel. Just a quick update on my induction heater. I replaced these ultra-fast uh, MUR860 fast diodes with uh, these, these Shockey diodes, STPS 10150C 150 volt 5 amp diodes. And what I did is I just joined, they have three terminals on them, the outer terminals are the um, positive anode and the middle terminal is the negative. I just soldered the two positive terminals together and replaced the diode. So let's see how this works. Uh, these should, in theory, cause less heating of the uh, MOSFETs. So I'm just going to test this out, have it all wired and ready to go. And we're going to test it on a couple of metal objects here. So um, nine turns, on, nine, nine turns is four and a half and four and a half. And I'm trying bigger capacities. These are 0.47 microfarad. I think they're 250 volt or more capacitors. So let's go ahead and see how this works. All right, right everything's powered up here. Let's stick the screwdriver in. It's a big screwdriver and we'll see how this heats up. That's working pretty well, it's getting really hot. I'm not getting, I'm not seeing much heating of the MOSFETs. Much less heating than than before. Let's try the smaller screwdriver. And that gets really warm fast. Alright, just a quick update there. Uh, circuit seems to be pretty stable. Not seeing too much heating. And things are looking good. So, uh, got a uh, I think that's like a 2.5 millihenry choke on that. And here's these uh, shocky dies, 150 volt. So it should be protected now from blowing these. That was the main problem I was having before. All right, uh, thanks for checking this out and uh, look forward to seeing you uh, in the future with some future videos.